Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am doing the latte trend today. I actually really like this. This is exactly how I used to wear my makeup when I was a hairstylist back in the 90s. I loved it and that's back when I used to tan. I used to tan in those tanning beds all the time. So I tried to recreate what I did back then and I really like it. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Julie. I'm a 51 year old makeup artist, licensed hairstylist, and I'm dipping into fashion. So if you're interested in how I got this look, please keep on watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell before you leave. And let's get on with the video. Can a natural ginger wear a latte look? I'm actually self tanning right now so I can make this look as good as possible. I'm in a little bit of a hurry, so I'm gonna talk fast. If that's possible, talking fast is not my skill and talking small amounts is not my skill either. Um, what am I gonna do? 25N. So I'm gonna cheat my color up a little bit. This is the L'Oreal True Match Serum Foundation and this is number 4-5. And yeah, I think that's gonna work. Let's see how fast I can do this. Oh yeah, that works. Look at me go. This is why I have such a range of products. That really matches well. That pump is kind of broken though. So my self tan color is a 4-5. I had no idea. And it's perfect. I love this foundation. It is my most favorite drugstore foundation ever. If you haven't tried it, you have to. It's not expensive and it's very forgiving. I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown concealer. Guess it's not gonna be a drugstore look. Uh, yeah, that's gonna brighten it up a little bit. And I'm even gonna cheat that on my lids. Quick, quick, quick. Let me know, do you like it when I take my time to explain everything? Or do you like the fast content? I need to know. This is perfect for when I have a tan. Just getting right around my nose where I blow it all the time. It doesn't ever last very long because I blow again. And right in the center there. Good. I'm gonna use Westman Atelier Face Trace and just dot it right in here. It's a good darker color. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for my foundation. I may bronze it up a little bit more even. No, no, that's good. I love having color to my face. I don't know too many people that don't. I feel like I look healthier. Okay, good. This isn't the color Biscuit, I believe. This is the only product I like for a nose contour on me. Just right down and on the tip. Now I'm gonna take a powder bronzer because this is the latte look. I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown bronzer and this is in medium. And that's gonna set my cream and add even more color. What am I gonna do for eyeshadow? I keep going back to my MAC palette. I love it, honestly. Is there something else I could maybe show you? I haven't used this in so long and it's really good. This is the Viseart palette, 01 Neutral Mattes. I'm gonna see if I can stop myself from adding a shimmer. It's very difficult. Let me see if I can keep this really simple for you guys. So I'm gonna go into this one right here and I'm gonna go all over the eye. Why not? And I'm gonna pull it up into the crease. The texture and the formulation of these mattes, they're just so pretty. And I'm having a hot flash. Oh, oh yeah, okay, that's much better. Looks funny. Let me turn that off. I'm gonna turn it back on again in a second. So same color. And take 
taking it underneath. Then I'm going to take this color right here. Maybe this color first, and then if I want to brighten it up with the lighter color, I will. Honestly, I don't deal with hot flashes that often until I film. I don't know why. Maybe it's the lights. And I'm just going to put it over a little bit right there. And I'm going to turn this brush around and go into that lighter color and pop the inner corner with that. and a little bit at my brow. Good. Now I'm gonna go into this darker color here with my smudge brush. This is a BK Beauty 210. And I'm gonna go on the outer corner there. You can feel my lashes moving. Thicker on the outside and then tapering in there. I don't go too far in because it makes my eyes look closer together. And if I do this, it kind of brings it up like this. Make sure it's all blended. And same on the other side. feel bare with my lips like this so I'm gonna do my lips and I had a really good combination the other day that everybody was asking me about it's the Rimmel long-lasting finish in color coffee bean Right, I feel better just with that. Okay, this is L'Oreal Color Riche in Nature's Blush. And I am gonna put something lighter in the center. I'm gonna figure that out in a minute though. I'm gonna let that sit. Do my brows. I wonder if I could use one of these for my brows. I believe I can. No, I'm gonna go ahead and use LA Girl Shady Slim Brow, and this is in Ash. I thought they changed the name of this. I couldn't find it on Amazon, but I can find it on LA Girl's website. I need a good brow serum and I might warm those up a little bit. I'm gonna powder my brows down and my face, then mascara. I used to never wear powder. I don't know, my skin is almost not oily, but like it's almost combo now because I really don't like shine there. There, that's better. I have a new mascara to try. And where did it go? This is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara Volume Extreme. How do you say that fast? I did wear this already and I had a great experience. So I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, there's one coat. I'm gonna go a second coat on here. Pretty. My lashes are nice and soft, which I like. There's two coats. I'm a little concerned using this big brush on the bottom lashes. Hmm, wish me luck, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna paint it on like this. Okay, that 
wasn't so bad. Sometimes I'm just not careful a lot of the time, actually. My lashes on the bottom are very sparse, it feels like. No, nope, maybe not. Right here they are. This is the side I sleep on. And I can tell, because this lash, because right here, I'm lacking. I'm gonna do a second coat here. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute, but I'm gonna change out my lipstick. It's just a bit warm for my liking. I used Japanese maple the other day and it was perfect, but I looked and they don't carry it anymore. I also used vanilla bean from Buxom and they don't carry this anymore either. I need white Russian maybe. Hmm, that might work. That's better. This is Blush Matte by House Labs. I feel like that tone's better. I'm gonna blend this in a bit more. There, apparently I need new lipsticks because I'm looking for one in particular and I can't find any that I want. How does that even happen? So this is the Matte Trans Lipstick in 1995. I guess that's appropriate because this is the trend. Do I need blush or is it just gonna be all about the bronzer? I'm actually gonna go back in with a little bit of a darker color now that it's all done and define that crease a little bit more. Yeah. That feels better. Gosh, I remember the 90s. What was I doing in the 90s? The 90s was big for me. I went to college, moved from Ontario to Alberta. I went to school again <laughs> for a hairstylist, met my first husband, moved to the States. I got pregnant with my first child. So much, many good memories. And that's when we used to go dancing. Oh, I love dancing. I'm going crazy now, guys. I'm gonna shadow that down a little bit more. I don't like doing that after my mascara, but I feel like it needs it. We used to go country line dancing. Gosh, those were fun days. I'm gonna use Margin Blush by MAC. Let's see what that looks like. This is even an old packaging. My lip liner was crooked. <laughs> it's never gonna be perfect makeup here, but I have so much fun. I hope this helps inspire you and gives you new ideas of what you can do with your makeup. All the products that I used will be listed in the description box for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. I love hearing from you. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit that like button, and I will see you later. Bye.